Okay, I'll do a short cut, a like short version of the class today. So what are we do is sharing my screen now. Okay, you can see my desktop. You can see my desktop right here. And so today we're gonna talk about line and patterns. Lion patterns. You can see, I mean, you look around and we can find lion patterns everywhere in our life. Let's look at the first picture, the mountains. See how different patterns applies to the uh, mountains. So we have like straight lines and we have these kind of raindrop shape patterns and we have like dots like triangle right different patterns and they're all black and white you know you because this week we're gonna more focus on the black and white patterns and then let's look at the middle picture the two girls, two girls, right? They're back. And you can see a lot of lines, like zigzag, wave lines, straight lines, some shading lines. And for the hair, or even you look at the hair, look at your own hair. So I actually have some slightly curly hair, slightly curved hair. And let's look at this coffee cup. This one is really interesting. So we have different patterns on it at different parts of the coffee cup, right? It's really beautiful. And uh, for younger kids, you don't have to do like patterns like this complicated. This is too complicated for you guys. But for other kids, especially for my students you can try to do some something complicated i know you guys can do it okay okay yes let's learn something let's learn some patterns and lines let's look at the lines first so i'm pretty sure most of you have seen like have learned vertical line, horizontal line, diagonal line, curved line, spiral line, line wave line, cloud lines, zigzag, castle, right? Castle, most of the girls, they like to draw princess and they, they draw castles. You might use castle lines a lot. Okay, so these are different lines we can use in our work. I'll post this in WeChat group as a reference photo, reference pictures, okay? And let's see. So I do turn off the lines. Oh, one thing, one more thing. So for the lines, even though for the vertical lines, so you have to understand there's some of the lines when you apply is it's really thin. Some of them is thicker. So that's a different. Okay, let's look at the patterns. So these are very simple patterns you can use when you do your own painting or drawing, right? The most common one should be lines, like this line, and the heart shape, star shape, star, star pattern, right? Zigzag, circle. You look at the circle one, you look at the circle one. 
So the big circle, small circle, right? Together. Okay. Okay. So by your own, you can actually. You can actually create some, and you can draw some uh, squares or rectangles or circle, then create your own patterns. So I have this one here, and I'll do another one. So you can, so you can. See, so let's back to this slide. You can pick one, you can pick two. I'll pick, um, let me see. I'll actually pick the clouds, the clouds pattern and this line patterns, diagonal lines pattern, okay. Oops. Okay, so at the create your own page, I'm going to draw some clouds. And one more here. Okay, and some diagonal lines inside the cloud. Okay. So for the the white part, you can just color it or you can do another patterns like circle. That will be interesting too. So now the second box is full of patterns. Okay. Okay, so th this is a way you can practice by yourself. You can create your own patterns. Let's look at some examples now. The first one, this is a, a bird, a rooster, a bird, a rooster, the yeah, rooster. You can see all the different patterns on his body, right? Zigzag, straight lines, circle, Okay. Let's look at the second one. So the cat and the little bird. You can see the patterns on the cat's body and on, on the cat's head. You can also see why. So this is why we 
need those white acrylic pen. We can also put some white patterns. We can also put some white patterns. Some white patterns on on dark dark surface, right? Surface, dark surface. Okay, very interesting. Oh, also for this one, look at the composition of this one. So you, if you're going to just draw one object or two, make sure your main object, main animals, it has to be big, okay? Don't leave a lot of space around the cat, okay? Okay, this is another one. This is, but this one is more colorful. And for the composition for this one, if you if you you draw one rooster and it's like small, you draw one rooster, small rooster here. You have to think about to fill up all the space around this small rooster. So. There's two options you can use. You can just draw another more chicken roosters with different patterns on them. Or you can just draw a background for this rooster. Maybe draw grass, draw some, draw farm behind the rooster. Okay. Okay, another one. This one is really colorful. And you can see the pattern, not just black and white patterns. It's like darker pink on lighter pink. Darker pink pattern on lighter pink bear. Darker blue pattern on lighter blue rabbit, right? So this one is really interesting, really fun to see. Okay, we done the example. Then for this week, for this week, we're only gonna use like limited color palette. What do I mean? Is you can like only use two or three colors or even one, such as this one. So you have purple and you use different shades of purple, like light, very light purple and very dark purple. Okay, and this one, so blue, light blue and dark blue, right? Light blue and dark blue. Okay, this is, this one I'm talking about the composition of the bear, of one object you're drawing. If you are a little kid, you don't want to do to you don't want to draw many things in your picture. You only have one bear, and you got a lot of patterns on the bear. Like then, the size of the bear has to be big. Okay, like I said, don't leave don't leave too many space around the bear. We don't want to see a lot of white space around the bear, okay? Or you can just use color to fill up the space to make it more finished, okay? And if you accidentally just draw the bear very small, I understand because some of the kids, they cannot draw like things very big. That's okay. Like I said, if you do a little, a small bear here, then you got a lot of space around a small bear. Then you can add another object. You can add another animals, another bears, or more bears, or just something behind the bear. Just add something behind the bear. Think about Think about uh, where the bear lives. So maybe the bear is standing, standing on the ground. Then 
standing on the ground. Is any anything behind the bear? Maybe some buildings behind the bear. Buildings behind the bear. Buildings behind the bear. That also works. Or so most of the bears they live in the forest, right? So you can draw some forest, more trees behind the bear. Okay. Uh, like I did here, so to my mama bear, papa bear. Okay. Okay, that's one color thing. Let's show you some student work, previously student work. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can look at this, the bird here. Oops. Sorry, I have to get it top. So the bird here, you can see the rest, the bear's wing, this, this, this one. It's really, it's really like different patterns on it. Even though the background is simple, right? Okay, second one, the octopus. This octopus, give me right here. It's octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six. This octopus has six tentacles. Then each tentacle has different patterns on it. Yeah, right? You can see. So even though the background is simple, but we can, because we are focused on the pattern and lines this week for this piece, right? So do more patterns, okay? Let's see. Ice cream. So this one is done by Lisa. You can see, even though just a simple ice cream, ice cream cone, there's a lot of patterns on it, right? Okay. And this one is Tracy's. Patterns on the tail of the mermaids. Okay. These are very good examples for, to show you guys. And this one. Different patterns. All right. Okay. So for older kids, your your picture your artwork has to be more details, something like this, okay? So the main thing is very detailed. So you only have to add a single color background for it. That will be good, okay? Okay. Let me show you guys some more examples. 